What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash Hub. It's about 8.40 a.m. Eastern Time, February 22nd. Sorry, February 27th, 2018. Coming to you with a brand new trading video. And, um, yeah, but first, hit, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, especially if you guys are new to us. Uh, we got a lot of uh, great TA content. That's uh, technical analysis content. And um, we, uh, yeah, also have giveaways. So every weekend we have a giveaway. The first one was last weekend. We're going to have another one this weekend. So to be entered into that, obviously, we would love for you guys to, to subscribe and like our videos but also to um to, to be entered you, to, you need to uh you need to comment to uh to to the videos so um also if you guys are on steam or dtube links are down below uh please do go over there subscribe to our page there and upload at resteam would also be greatly appreciated but let's get right into it here so last night when we made a video i think we were right about this level right here where uh, this candle was beginning somewhere around the 10,325 level. We called out this 10,160 level, um, and the market obviously respected that. It came down, it touched it. Um, I think we got as low as 10,150. So my apologies, guys, I was off by 10 bucks. Uh, so I do apologize there, sarcastically, but I do apologize. <laughs> um, no, that's basically as close as it ever gets. Um, and uh, so yeah, we then had bounced off from there, and now it looks like the market's trying to kind of run up a bit more, maybe try to hit this top level of this of, of this of this wedge. Um, so that could be pretty cool to see. Another thing I failed to mention, uh, or one of the things I failed to mention last night, is the 55 EMA. We use 55 EMA and predominantly and the 200 moving average. Uh, 55 EMA right here, 200 moving average right here. And uh, I failed to mention that, you know, the market was was hitting this, you know, as far as a resistance line, this 55 EMA. And um, it has obviously broken through that in a very nice manner. So um, where are we? Where are we now? So uh, as far as on a one hour basis, um, a one hour basis, we are thinking that uh, this 10,160 should be closer around to 10,480, okay? Somewhere around there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 10,480, okay? Um, again, these lines are potential places of hidden support. Um, this is from an algorithmic basis. Um, and it's, uh, it can be used in three different ways. A, potential level of support. Um, B, it's a good place for low-risk entry if you feel the market's going to continue to go up. Um, C, it can also be used for um, you know, a place to be, uh, you know, obviously put your stop losses. And it can also be, uh, it can indicate a place where the market may change direction. In other words, if the market breaches this significantly, closes below it, and the candles kind of all match up, that things are going to move down, then um, this is a very good way to go ahead and begin that analysis and, and to start indicating that the market is no longer bullish. It's, it's going to become bearish. On a one-hour basis, we are cyclically, we are bearish. Okay, what does that mean cyclically? Cyclically it means that you can see there's some cyclicality, right? All right, it doesn't take a genius to see this, right? And you could see that cyclicality would come up here and it looks like that we may possibly start turning over soon. Not to say that this won't try to make another leg up here if some more bulls come in here and try to run it up higher. Um, but, uh, you know, let us not forget, you know, these tops right here are about 10,775. You know, also correspond to like this area right here and this area right here, right? So, you know, this is this is you know, there's also some congestion here, some congestion here too. So, you know, this is obviously an area of of some resistance to say the least, um, and it'll take some work for the bulls to get to get through it. All right. Um, so yeah, so on a one hour basis, we're thinking ten thousand four hundred and eighty. Um, Let's see what's going on on a four-hour basis. On a four-hour basis, uh, we were talking about 10,000 10, in the event that the market was going to turn over on a four-hour basis, and it doesn't, it hasn't happened just yet, right? You can see it hasn't happened just yet. 
So before our basis, we were thinking that the market could potentially come down to about a 10,000 level. So now we're thinking uh, not necessarily 10,000 since the market has moved up a little bit. We're thinking somewhere around 10,240. So I'm going to go ahead and take this right here, call it 10,240, move this up. Okay. So, all right. So I wouldn't be surprised on a four hour basis if we get a few different bars coming by and then this decides to come back down. The uh, EMA is probably still going to start coming up, right? And there may be a time where this EMA also lands somewhere around this level of 10,240 if the market were to come down. Now remember, if this is a one, two, three, four, five, better seen on a one hour basis, if this is truly a one, two, three, four, five, then what are we obviously looking for? We're looking for some sort of correction after that, some sort of ABC, some sort of, you know, 335, three, three, so something around there, um, a wedge, something, right? There's all sorts of correction patterns. So we'd be expecting something like that. There's a possibility that this is, you know, either this is a large A, this is a B, and then we're going to have a large C coming down, right? That That is obviously a possibility. And that's one of the things I was saying yesterday. Um, you know, we are, we are still, um, what is going on here? It's not wanting to change. Okay. We are still wary. Uh, we are definitely still wary of what's going on in the market. Okay. We definitely would know by no means are we out of the woods at all. Um, ah, look, the market's moving up. Aha. Uh -huh, beautiful. Um, maybe it'll go ahead and it will hit these levels right here. So it's really sitting at this 10,852 um, resistance level that we drew eons ago. Um, um, so let's see if it actually. Hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. Okay. So interesting to see. I'm not going to make this video continue on, you know, much, much longer to watch all this, uh, but you guys can obviously watch it on your own. Um, on a daily basis, we're still thinking uh, 9,000. Uh, I think still thinking 9,440 as a potential, uh, uh, you know, support level. Um, so on a daily basis, as far as as far as is concerned, we're still th we're still you know somewhat uh, somewhat somewhat bullish. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens here. Interesting stuff. This could be just a little bit of a fake out. Um, cause remember this is a huge, strong run. This is, this is quite, quite strong. All right. Let's look at things as far as this is concerned. Do a little Fibonacci project projection. A little bit easy for me to say. So we're pretty much sitting at this 0.618. So that's uh, a 0 0.618, uh, 61.8 percent of this third wave. And yeah, that totally, totally could stop here by no means. And that definitely be a, 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 a fifth wave. So, um, yeah, not much really else to say besides that right this second. I would um, be looking for some sort of a downturn, um, some sort of correction coming up soon. You know, next few bars could be next three bars, could be next one bar, could be next seven bars you know what i mean depends on what time frame what time frame you're looking at obviously obviously depends on what time frame you're looking at but it clearly needs to happen um and i believe it needs to happen happen soon uh so with that said we're gonna leave it there hope you guys have a great day and happy trading